Wow, it's not even close to the peak of summer driving season yet, but I just spent $76.81 filling up the Jeep with some gas. We're going to head out to an area near the town of Water Valley, Alberta. Um, it's a place called Skunk Hollow, and I think it's got a bit of an interesting history. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are. We're west of Water Valley at the William J. Bagnell Wilderness Area, known affectionately as Skunk Hollow, site of a former coal mining town, uh, had a general store. I think there was even a post office here at one point. Now it's mostly, uh, as it says, a wilderness area. Really no evidence of the uh, ghost town is going to remain, but we're going to go check it out. Come on with us here. The parking lot here is not really that big. You could probably fit six or eight cars in here if everybody parks decent. So in the summer, I could imagine this might be a bit of a challenge. Bears will eat whatever is available, including you. So as we descend the staircase here, which is kind of slippery in spots, a little bit of history of the uh, area of Skunk Hollow. This was uh, the site of two different mines, uh, coal mines, I believe, that opened up here in 1904. Now, the mines only operated up until the 20s. At its peak out here, the town of Skunk Hollow had a population of about 75 people. This is Silver Creek. Now, it certainly does not look silver right now, and I'm not sure if the color of the water here is due to just the spring runoff taking place, or if there's some sort of minerals that are being washed into the water that are causing this color. So maybe somebody can uh, give me some insight into that. Now, I don't know if you can really see it very well, just kind of over right in this area here, there's actually an old slag heap uh, left over from one of the coal mines that operated in this area. That's about the only evidence uh, of any, you know, human activity in the area here, other than, of course, the guardrail as well, but that's uh, more protecting people from falling down into the creek here. But uh, yeah, so there, you know, you still can see some remnants of the actual mining activity that took place. Try and get you a better view of that uh, slag pile over there. And for the mining experts in the crowd, I apologize if I'm using the wrong terminology, but that's what I'm going to call it. Amazing colors in the creek here. So you can see where the trail reaches the creek, and obviously when things were frozen, lots of people did make the trip across. A couple of things to note here, this uh, crossing right there almost looks like a little miniature weir or something. So I'm wondering if that was related to the mine somehow. And on the far side, if we look in, you can see there's a foundation there. So obviously there was some sort of building here at some point. Again, most likely mine related, but that's pure speculation. Because, as you know, here on danocan.com we pride ourselves on our lack of prior research. So of course curiosity got the best of me and I figured I would try using this nearby log to see if I could cross the creek and check out what was on the other side. Yeah, this is not happening. <laughs> no, not a good idea, Dad. Because you're going to go over yeah. sideways right into it. If there was two, that you would have been okay. So no creek crossing for me today. That water is just too high, too cold, not worth it. 
So unfortunately, instead of making a loop here through Skunk Hollow, it looks like it's going to be an in and out type hike today. We did find another path up, so it ended up being more of a loop than expected, which is all right. We didn't get as far as we had hoped, but nice, nice little hike out here in the woods. Now look at that. We are back at the parking lot. So that's going to do it from Skunk Hollow. Thanks for coming along with us. If you do want to see more of our videos, I encourage you to click the subscribe button. I don't release on any sort of set schedule, so subscribing to the channel is the best way to know when new content has become available. Thank you very much. No concussion city!